Hey, Creative Writing, uh, it's Ms. Arkeland. It's Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. And we are going to start our first genre of writing, which is microfiction. Um, we're gonna actually start with our writing prompt today and then dive into what microfiction is. Um, the next unit is gonna be flash fiction. We'll spend a few days on flash fiction. Um, I want the prompts to, for you to spend more time on them. So I'll be giving you more time to write those prompts. Um, and I think that's it. All right. So here's your writing prompt. And I want you to see how you do. You can just do this in your journal entry. I want you to take five minutes or so. It doesn't have to be very long. And I want you to write a complete summary of your favorite movie, novel, TV show, whatever story it is that you want. But I want you to write a complete summary. So I have to have all the most important information possible. So pause this video and take some time to do that right now. All right, we're back. Next, I want you to cut down your summary to 50 words or less. Just 50. Yes, you are going to have to actually count those words, right? So this is a writing exercise in being concise and descriptive and getting to the point. So now pause the video and try to do this task. Welcome to microfiction. Microfiction is a story that is very small, micro, okay? One must communicate clearly and succinctly to do this well, while still including the necessary elements of fiction, conflict, climax, and resolution. Planning is essential. It's really, really, really important to map out your entire story and then condense it as small as possible. This is one of my favorite types of writing because I think it requires some of the most creative and analytical thinking combined because you have to achieve a great amount in such a short amount of time. And it's almost like a puzzle or something. I think it's really, really cool. I'm going to show you some examples. Today. For instance, remember this one. This is uh, what inspired our six word memoirs, however sad that it is. For sale, baby shoes, never worn. This was Ernest Hemingway's example, although um, apparently he didn't actually write it. What are you going to do? Okay, plagiarism for life. Um, but uh, baby shoes never worn. So this tells an entire story. Okay, we can we we create and craft what's what this actually means in our heads because of the information that we've been giving given. Excuse me. This one is amazing. Bedtime story. Careful, honey. It's loaded he said, re-entering the bedroom. Her back rested against the headboard. This is for your wife? No, too chancy. I'm hiring a professional. How about me? He smirked. Cute, but who'd be dumb enough to hire a lady hitman? She wet her lips, sighting along the barrel. Your wife. So dark, it's so cool, all right? This is for sure less than 50 words. And we have infidelity, a marriage that's falling apart, crime, murder that's about to happen. All right, this tells an entire story. It's so good. So what's the anatomy of microfiction? If you want some inspiration, feel free to check out these 50 word stories. This is a website that actually posts stories that are 50 words or less. Um, and there's some really incredible stuff there. Uh, so feel free to look at that. There's also a chance for you to publish yourself, which is kind of cool. And now I want you to give it a shot. Um, if you want to spend time on this writing prompt, feel free. If you want to just spend time on the initial one, cutting down that summary um, to 50 words or less, you can also feel free to do that. But I want to just give you another opportunity to write now that you understand what um, microfiction is a little bit. Yes, you can write more than six words, but 100 max. 100 words or less is microfiction. If you need a prompt, try one of these. Autumn finally arrived. I've never seen his face. A cry echoed through the air. Right? What stories can you write in 100 words or less? Um, this is going to be your first microfiction prompt. We are going to be moving on to flash fiction tomorrow, which is longer but still as condensed 
um, a short lesson today and then write what you want. Okay. All right. I will see you tomorrow.